All right, good morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you watch these things, I, <laughs> you'll never tell. But it is Thursday, February 25th, and I am excited. Our new episode is coming out tomorrow. You can catch that as well as all of my flawed vlogs on flawedinc.com. Please subscribe, please share. Uh, our social media reach is being uh, interfered with i'll put it that way so any any help that you can give we'd appreciate it and appreciate all the feedback from yesterday's episode uh it was good i i was a little hesitant about talking in regards to such a subject but i guess you know like salt and pepper said let's talk about sex but, you know, you look at somebody and it's a result of somebody being intimate. So you don't ever see a human being and not think, well, they were, um, unless you are, you know, Christ. Uh, but everyone else is, you know, uh, their parents had gotten together and bumped nasties and nine months later they came out. But I want to kind of piggyback on the end of yesterday, yesterday's. Uh, some of the comments I got were in regards to my just kind of expanding and today was the first day in a while I went on a walk I normally let my dog take me for like a three or four mile walk every day and I take that time and I pray meditate kind of see what God wants to tell me talk to me and uh I felt like today he wanted me to talk about conscious your conscience I'm going to share a scripture here as I do James 4 verse 17 it says if anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Let me say that again. If anyone knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin to them. And I was thinking about conscience in regards of our conscience can get seared. I used to have a friend years ago who would have horrible back pain. And what he would do, uh, medication didn't solve it and... Uh, you know, he try to do all kinds of exercising and stretching and all this stuff. It just none of it would work. And he would used to he used to go in and um, get the ends or his uh, his nerves, I guess. And he would get them seared. And I thought that's such a weird thing. I, I I don't. That's how I understood it. I'm not a medical person, but that's how it came across to me. But I was thinking, you know, our conscience is the same way. If we know what the right thing to do is. And we don't do it. That's a check. That's called conviction. Um, you know, you might say that's Holy Spirit communing with us. But um, in my experience, when you ignore that check long enough, your conscience gets seared. And, you know, our conscience is what allows us, I think, to one of the things I think allows us to commune with Holy Spirit, uh, with the Almighty. But I also think it helps us just navigate life as a decent person which may or may not be something that people are interested in. And I, I mean that, honestly, I'm not, that's not a snarky or snide comment. I don't say that with hubris, but you know, if you're interested in living a decent, like moral life, you shouldn't go against your conscience. And I just see a lot of that. And I honestly, that's a temptation for me too. I'm like, well, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> you know, how many times have we woke up with the hair of the dog and thought, yeah, I wasn't going to do this again, but I did. But I want to just kind of plant a little seed to think about conscience, your conscience. Are you on the path of having your conscience being seared? Are there things that you are doing that you know that you ought not to do, but you keep doing them anyway? And, and that's the case. It's a struggle. It's not like eternal con uh, damnation. It's not like condemnation. It's just how do you avoid from having your conscience seared so that you can continue on in life and be the person that you want to be or the person that you were made or created to be. I, I think once we lose the ability to get in touch with our conscience, with that part of us that I said that communes with the almighty, I think that's a dangerous place. And I honestly, I see a lot of people that traverse that area a lot and not throwing shade. I'm just speaking mostly to myself and anyone else that may be interested or may care, but you know, you it is so important that you do not go against your conscience. And whether that be in regards to sexual situations, uh, whether that be in regards to, uh, 
you know, business dealings, like doing things uh, within relationships, uh, work, whatever that is, you know, just in your daily life, you know, um, just, I want to just encourage you to take a time today or tomorrow or whenever. Think about that. Think about what is on your heart, what's on your conscience. Maybe that's the Almighty speaking to you. Maybe there's something that you need to be aware of and, and be cognitive of that. Be aware of that. Be a obedient to that and then while you do that make sure that you get in the arena